Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks! We are so excited to be meeting with you today because it is a big day. Today, you get the chance to participate in Jagathon. So, we know it's going to be a busy day. We also know that our students here know what our expectations are for being in school. So, we look forward to having a great day of meeting those expectations and attending the Jagathon. I'm looking forward to seeing students outside and earning those laps and that money for our school. So, I can't wait to see how much money we earn, Miss Anderson. Uh, I'm hoping that we earn more than last year, so we'll have to compare um, those earnings from last year. All right, so Miss Anderson, next week we have some pretty big things happening in our building. Here are our weekly updates. Let's check it out. All right, so first we're going to be starting with theme days, Miss Anderson. On Monday, we have Fancy Day. Yeah, rest your very best because Monday also happens to be picture day. And Tuesday is crazy sock day. That's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. And we're doing crazy sock day because that is the kickoff to our sock October. So remember, if you can find some socks that you have at home that are new, or if you're out at the store and see some, bring them on in. Donate those socks. And then Wednesday is Western day. Yee that was just for fun. I so love it. Dress up in your best Western wear. And Thursday, we have Ranger slash CRE day. That's going to be fun. Why do we have uh, Ranger day on Thursday? Well, that is the day that we have our big homecoming game at the high school. So if you can, come out, support your local high school, have some fun with your friends, and watch some great football. And we also have the parade on that day, which is going to be fantastic. We'll get to see all of those uh, football players and high schoolers, I say, parading down uh, Main Street. So that's going to be fun for all of our students to see that. Yeah. And as a quick reminder, next week there's also something different on the schedule. Uh, that Friday on the 7th, it is not a read day. So let your email rest. You should not see an invitation from us. Uh, that is not a read day. Tomorrow is... The following Friday is not. All right, and then in two weeks on October 12th, we have a family breakfast for our third through fifth grade families. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, we are welcoming back this tradition. It's been a couple years since we've done it, but each grade level will get their own time slot. We look forward to you, even if an adult can't come, you get to go with your class and have a delicious breakfast, and then the adults that can be there will. Um, so we look forward to meeting your families. That's going to be fun. Okay, Miss Anderson, we have trivia. All right. Let's pull up our and trivia. I noticed, bucket. did anyone else see Mr. Wolf has his PDSA outside of his office? And Mr. Wolf, can you tell him what you're measuring right yeah, now? Yeah, so my PDSA, we are focusing on participation. We want to see... How many students can we get to participate in our trivia? That's one focus. And the other focus is on the percentage of correct responses. So those are the two things that I'm focusing on. And we're gonna be trying some different strategies to help increase that, so stay tuned. Okay, well let's see what we got this week. Okay. Let's start with K1. Let's start with our K1. So our trivia question for K1, we've been focusing on those patterns. Okay, and let's second see. Oh, yes. And I got a second grader. That's really funny. Uh, Carter O. from Miss Munn's class. And if nice I look work. at this, look. Rectangle, circle. Rectangle, circle. Rectangle, circle. Rectangle, circle. You nailed it, Carter O. Nice job. Nice job. All right. Then our three through five buckets been focusing on those story problems. Nice work. from Miss Rutherford's class, Layla. And if you look at her paper, what she did was she added together the two different types of fish. What I also noticed is that when she read the problem, she noticed that there was one thing she didn't need to know. She did not add in the fish food. So we have 15 plus 22 equals 37. The only thing I would add to this is that label. She labeled it 37 fish. Nice, nice work. Come on down and collect those prizes. 
Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we also, Miss Anderson, we have our new trivia for this week. So for our K1 and 2, this week you are going to be filling in the pumpkins from numbers 1 all the way to 10. Now you might be saying like, well, Mr. Wolf, I can do that. That's no problem. What we're also looking for is how are you forming your numbers, okay? Correct formation is really important. Which way are they facing? So we're looking for students being able to write 1 to 10 with correct formation. And then our third through fifth graders have another story problem. So listen closely. Cole and Bryson went to the video game land. Cole won 52 tickets. Bryson won 84 tickets. They want to put their tickets together to get a large toy robot that costs 300 tickets. How many more tickets do they need? Mm, sounds like there might be some steps to that one. All right, we'll see what you guys come up with. Happy birthday to you. Okay. And it's time for birthdays. This week, we don't have a ton of birthdays to celebrate, but we'll just make sure we get their names off and you will get your birthday bracelet. So we have Conrad from Miss Munn's class, Emma from Miss Freeze's class, Skylar from Miss Cressick, and James from Miss French's class. So happy birthday, guys. We hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. Also, a happy, happy birthday to Mrs. Brown. We will be celebrating her on October 5th and singing her happy, happy birthday. Another exciting thing that is starting next week as we enter October is we are focusing on collaboration. What does collaboration mean? Collaboration means, well, we have our poster up here, working together to achieve common goals. All right, so when you're working in teams, when you see teachers working in teams, that's all collaboration because we know that two heads are better than one, and we're looking for how you collaborate with your friends, with people in your classroom, with your teachers, um, how when you need to say something, you do so respectfully, and how you listen when others have things to say. So those are our goals for collaboration. We're looking forward to celebrating those of you that are working hard to meet them. Okay, then we have the golden plunger and the golden tray. This week, Miss Anderson, the golden plunger goes to our kindergartners, but it's our girl kindergartners. Okay, nice job, girls. Way to work hard to keep that bathroom clean. All right, and then we also have the golden tray and collaborating with mr armstrong and miss mcdonald they both agreed that first grade is doing a wonderful job in the cafeteria during lunchtime collaborating together and keeping it nice and clean nice job guys way to show how it's done next week i hope that we hear that our fourth fifth grade third grade start doing the same okay it is time to stand, put your hand over your heart for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we hope you have a great day today at Jogathon and we look forward to seeing you next Monday. Oh yeah, don't forget, it's fancy day.